Hey guys, it's Dollar Dr. Jennifer with my weekly sales from October 12th to the 18th. I am a little bit late and I'm sorry, I was having internet issues last night. And so here we go. I am, again, always thankful for everyone that has bought from me. You're all awesome. And I hope you love everything you got. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I just want to say, if you like these kinds of videos, please hit the thumbs up. If you like thrift hauls with sold videos and other type of info about Poshmark and eBay, please um, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And let's get started. It's not too busy of a week, so it won't take too long. <laughs> but I'm going to give try and give a little bit more information today than I normally do. Um... So let us get started. So first we sold this Kids Gap Lollipop Sequin Shirt, size 8. Really cute. Someone sent me an offer for $5 and I did accept. I am trying to get rid of a lot of my kids stuff right now. Um, I think I paid about $0.50 cents for this shirt. Um, and so my profit came to about $1.55. Not, not a lot, but every dollar counts. <laughs> <clears throat> Next, we have this amazing Blizzard Bay Flamingo Ugly Christmas Sweater, size medium. I love this sweater. I think it's so cute. I saw it and I'm like, I don't even care. I'm getting this and someone is going to want it. I did sell it for $17. Um, I did purchase this for $1.61. That was my average cost of goods that day. And so my actual profit from this was $9.87. <clears throat> Next, we have these Primark Wide Fit Extra Comfort Gray Booties, size 8. They were like in almost brand new condition. They were really cute, great for the season, and um, I paid $1.61 for them as well. Um, my profit after fees and everything was $10.39. Next, I love this mug. It is hilarious. It is a recycled paper products coffee mug birthday poem. Um, the mug actually says, um, first you crawl and then you walk. Eventually you learn to talk. Pretty soon you start to stoop. Getting old is pigeon poop. And I knew when I saw this, someone was going to love it. And they did. And I'm so excited. Um, I did sell this for $16.00. Um, I think I paid about 50 cents for it, which made my profit after fees uh, about $10.18. <clears throat> and next, I sold this really cute Lily Pulitzer Marlena t-shirt dress, navy and white, size extra large. It did sell for $28.00. And I bought this for about 84 cents. That was my average cost of goods that day. Um, and so my profit after fees was $19.44. And then I sold this Port & Company Gray I Teach Tiny Humans shirt, size extra large. Really cute. Someone sent me an offer for $10.00. I paid about $1.39 that, that day for it, and my profit after all the fees and everything was $5.66. You may have seen this on a recent haul, because I did get this last week in Asheville. This is a Life is Good Good Witch Crusher Tea. Um, orange size extra large it was really cute it did have like a couple lines on the back like it might have been pen mark or something but I just noted that in my listing and this did sell for $16 I did pay a dollar for it um, and so after fees my profit was $9.68 I did also sell oh never mind just kidding <laughs> All right, next was this Zero Foxtrot Wash with Soul Scorpion shirt, size medium. Um, and it says Fatality on the front. 
I think it had something to do, I looked it up and it has something to do um, with Mortal Kombat. And someone sent me an offer for $10, which I did accept. Um, I paid about 80 cents for this shirt. And after all the fees, I made $6.25. And next was a really cute Free People uh, faux leather mini skirt, burgundy size 12. Um, I think I made the offer on this one. Let me look. Um, but it's just a really cute skirt and great for the season. I love the colors. Um, I paid about $3.22 for this skirt. Um, it looks like they actually made me an offer on this skirt and I accepted and after fees, my profit was $16.78. <clears throat> and next was this LuLaRoe Olive Color Lola skirt with lace detail, size extra, extra small. This is something that a friend of mine gave me um, when she stopped selling on Poshmark. And so I did sell this for $16. Um, I made them an offer. And so I did pay for discounted shipping. So after fees and everything, I made $10.68. And then I sold these Jennifer Lopez bootcut white jeans, which I've had for quite a while, size 14. I did send out an offer and they accepted. Um, I paid about $2 for these. And so after fees, I made about $8.68. And then this next um, sale was actually on eBay, but I'm just using my Poshmark listing to show you what it is. Um, this is probably like the coolest sale I've made. So at a place I go, they do t-shirt sales sometimes. They just like have these huge bins of t-shirts and they um, will do like, you know, like 10 for a dollar and stuff. So I got this on a 10 for a dollar day, which means I was paid like 10 cents for it. Um, but it's Magic the Gathering, which is kind of like a nerdy um, card game, which I, I did used to play in high school. I'm not going to lie. Um, but this was their instructor shirt. And what I did some research, and this was actually a limited edition um, shirt from 1997, which means it was vintage. And, um, and then it had this uh, Thunder Mare or... Um, nightmare on the back. There's talk back and forth about what it actually is, um, like on the on the web pages. But it was just a really fun shirt. It says, as you can see, instructor on the front. Um, and so I ended up speaking with someone on eBay. They messaged me like, "Are you flexible on price?" I had it listed in an auction for about fifty dollars, and. Um, I said, sure, you know, like make me an offer. And he said, well, I only like to pay like $20, $25 for my magic shirts. And I said, well, because I'm going to pay for shipping, I'd be more comfortable with getting 35. So he agreed and he sent me an offer and I accepted it on eBay for $35. And after shipping and all the other fees associated with eBay, I actually made $24.62 on a 10 cent shirt, which was amazing. And then lastly, I sold this pair of LuLaRoe Floral Leggings OS and um, I made an offer for $10 to someone and they accepted last night. And I these are a friend of mine's, so I do split the profits with her. So after splitting that and all the fees, I made $2.93 um, on these leggings. And so that was the last sale. Like I said, it wasn't the biggest week, but I had some cool stuff sell and some stuff I've had for a while. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, if you have any questions or, you know, interested in any more information, please don't hesitate to comment below. I really appreciate you watching me. It's fun to tape these and kind of like see myself kind of what I'm doing each week and what's selling um, and for how much and that sort of thing. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next Sunday. I'm hoping sometime this week I will probably be doing a haul. I am probably going to be going to the bins 
later this week. I do work some, but I have a couple days off. So I will see you then and enjoy. Bye.